Welcome. In the last video, I've shown you how to get the Cowie version anonymous link to your survey. And in uh, this uh, video, we're going to cover how to generate individual respondent links out of a respondent list, which comes from Excel. So uh, step number one is we're going to have our Excel file respondent list.xlsx and it includes um, information about our respondents. We have the uh, respondent ID, the name, and the gender. And we are going to load this list into survey to go as an additional data list. And then we're going to um, simply generate the links for the individual respondents here. So step number one, we are going to um, add this Excel as an additional data list into the tree. Uh, we're going to click on create a new subject, subject store we're going to browse to our respondent list Excel file and we're going to import um, this file. We can see the columns have been imported correctly. We're going to give it a name, uh, respondent list, and we're going to say Cowie respondent list. We're going to click on create. And it has been created. So step number two is to go back to our survey and just as with anonymous links we click on survey assign but now instead of using the anonymous execute tab we're going to scroll down we're going to find our Cowie respondents list and our respondents are now showing up here we're going to assign all of them because we want to create a link for all of them and click on apply and as soon as we do that an actual link is generated for each and every one of the respondents. Now, if we want just to get all the links for the respondents, we can click on the show all links right here. This will open up the screen with uh, all of our links, both the respondent, individual respondent links and the anonymous link that we generated in the earlier video. But we can see the links right here and we can copy that into, uh, into the, the desktop or if we just want the links for this Cowie respondent links, we can click on the export. This will generate an Excel file with all the columns and the actual links. So let's go ahead and click on export. We're, let's give it a uh, file name, resp list, links, and we'll click on save. Right, so Excel comes up and we can see the respondent ID, the name, the gender, and also the actual uh, individual links. Now the nice thing about these individual links, which sets them apart from the anonymous links, is that with these links, these are specifically tailored to the individual respondent, meaning they can, once they enter this interview, they can stop, reopen this link, and get back to where they started from. So if I take this individual link and I go back to our web browser and I start up the interview, once I answer this question and I'm now at the age question, if I close the window and I reopen the same link, it will start off where we left off. So this is an individual uh, per respondent link. Also the individual column columns from the respondent list, these ones, all of these, the gender, the name, and everything here will be included in the data output file once we export the data. In our next video, we're going to cover how to interact scripting-wise with, uh, with the individual columns from the respondent list, which we can. So for example, we have the gender column right here we can interact with it uh, from the script and instead of an asking the gender, we can actually pre-populate the question based off of the respondent list um, properties or the individual columns. We're also going to cover the different uh, visualization options that we have with the um, web uh, uh, client properties and um, all those are in the next videos.